you ever been so angry that you just couldn't hold back your words and you felt them coming up when the other person was speaking? You were thinking of a good comeback on what to say and just going to, uh, going to pour that person with negativity. I've done it a couple times and I've been sorry every time I did. You know, anger is something that is just, it is useless, unnecessary activity. And when you gush out the negativity towards another, uh, after you do that, you really can't take it back, even though you want to take it back later on. There's an old saying, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And I have lived by that now for many years. If I can't say anything nice, I walk. I walk away. The book of Proverbs, it offers much wisdom. And time and time again, it tells us that the words we speak can and should be beautiful offerings to those that hear them. Proverbs says, Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul, and healthy for the body. Now, here is what most people miss by that. Yes, kind words are like honey to the person hearing them, but also to you, to your soul, to your mind. It is sweet to your soul, and it is healthy for your body. When you hold on to the anger, when you spout the anger, you take it in at a cellular level and cause much, much distress inside the mind and then inside the body. The Bible warns that our words have unhappy consequences when we speak impulsively, thoughtlessly, or with anger, are you fully aware of the words that you speak and the effect that they have on others that sometimes the effect lasts a lifetime? As a consequence, do you measure your words carefully before you speak them? If so, you are very wise and those around you are blessed. But if you're like most people, you may on occasion speak before you think and then have reason to regret your words. Today, decide spiritually to ask God's help in taking control of your comments before you speak and and to take control of your life in so doing. You take control of your comments by engaging your mind before you rev up your vocal cords. After all, some things are better, much better, left unsaid. And you never have to apologize for thoughtless words that you didn't speak. Saint Bonaventure said, in all your deeds and words, you should look on Jesus as your model. Whether you are keeping silent or speaking, whether you are alone or with others. I pray that you'll have a vocabulary that comes out from your mouth that draws people to you continuously in the present moment and in their memory of you.